Thanks for joining us on this week's Black Book. I'm Zoe Cavan, joined as always by Mr. Jeffrey Siegel. And Jeff, what have we got going on this We're week? We're actually going to concentrate uh, uh, on Gulfstream Park. We have one Santa Anita troubled horse that we'll put down. Uh, but this is a Gulfstream segment. We've got a couple of nice young horses, a sensational future star, yeah. uh, and some horses to bet on. So we'll, let's see what we got. All right, let's take you back in time to January the 11th and a horse called Custom for Carl, trained by Jeff Mullins. Not a very good trip for this guy. No, this is a, a filly that was well meant first time out. This is our lone Santa Anita uh, horse for this week. Let's take a look at the tape and watch the first time starter here uh, and custom for Carl. She actually breaks running. You can see she's in front here, Zoe. The jock's going to let her run, but she's kind of caught for speed a little bit. Jock takes a hold of her and she kind of gets engulfed and then finds herself behind horses, and maybe that was uh, maybe what cost her the race. Plenty of speed to the inside, and Rispoli letting a break, letting her do her thing. And that's fine for at least now, until we head into the turn. He's starting to ask her here, and by here, you think that she's not going anywhere, and all of a sudden, she kicks back into gear. Yeah, unfortunately, she kicks back into gear right into the teeth of the, uh, the speed duel, and she's going to run into a roadblock here. Here, she's full of run. But there's nowhere to go, and the jock has to steady her. Uh -huh. She just throws her head up. She loses her action. You can't do that going five and a half. But that's not all. Now he goes to the inside, Zoe, and there's no room there either. And you know what? I feel for Rispoli. He's riding the turf course very, very well at the moment. I saw him after this race, and he was absolutely furious with himself. He's a very good, young, competitive rider, and he admitted that this was perhaps not one of his best rides. Well, just unlucky, but she does finish fourth. I like the way she overcame not only one roadblock, but two. Still picked it up in the final 16th of a mile, finished well, got beat less than three lengths. Uh, uh, she's by a, a son of more than ready and out of mare by Grand Slam. So I think she'll probably go uh, maybe a little farther. But anyway, Jeff Mullins has some options now. He can run her back in the same spot, maybe try her a mile. Either way, I think that's a nice three-year-old filly to watch. Her name is Custom for Carl.